Hey, good afternoon, Todd. My name is Jack here with Mr. and Mrs. Leeds. I wanted to thank you for trying out our site auditor. I hope you got some insight out of that. Uh, in this video, I wanted to highlight a couple of other things that I could see um, in terms of your SEO as a search marketer, as well as provide what kind of potential you might be able to do if we were to move forward uh, in your SEO efforts moving forward. So without further ado, let me go ahead and get started. So right off the bat, what I did was I um, entered your URL here in the tool AREFs. AREFs allow search marketers like myself to look at the metrics of a website and see what's been working for you in terms of your SEO. Um, so right off the bat, what I can see is that either this website is new or there just hasn't been uh, much, if any, SEO work done. Um, I can see that because right now you don't have any backlinks or referring domains. And this is a very important metric that uh, Google uses to determine how um, high you rank in Google's uh, algorithm for the different keywords you want to rank for as well as how quickly you get there. So um, in case you didn't know what a referring domain or backlinks are, it's basically any website out there uh, that goes and uh, links back to your website via a hyperlink. So for example, if there is a blog that's called the consultingblog.com and they go out there and they mention you in a post and they say, hey, if you're looking for uh, uh, real estate management firms, visit cr2ltd.com. And then uh, if they clicked on that link, it would take them straight to your website, right? So Google actually tracks all this data, right? All the different websites that are pointing back to your website, and they use that information to determine how authoritative your website is. So kind of think of it like a popularity contest. Uh, you want a lot of these good quality websites and uh, with the correct relevancy. So um, uh, in my example, it was consultblog.com. So very relevant to your niche, you want a lot of these different kinds of websites pointing back to your website because it shows Google that you're the kind of website that other websites like to refer and you're the kind of website that's popular, right? You have a lot of websites that are talking about you and things like that. And those are the kinds of websites that Google wants to rank at the top of Google. So this is a very important metric, like I said, in SEO. And the fact that you don't have any backlinks and referring domains means that uh, you're just not going to be found in Google for any of the keywords you're going for. And you can see that right here, your organic keywords is zero, meaning you don't have any keywords that you're currently ranking in Google, as well as you don't have any organic traffic visiting your website through Google. So um, a lot of room for improvement. I, I mean, I, here's your homepage. Clearly, uh, this is something, is something that we need to build out. Uh, obviously, we definitely do um, website builds as well. And we would make sure that from the ground up, the foundation has all the SEO elements on there. Right. Um, I want to show you over here real quick to this next tab. Um, what I did was I entered the keyword real estate management right into the keywords explorer to kind of see some of the keywords you could potentially rank for. Now, um, consulting services in general is a very difficult niche to get into because there's so many consulting firms out there. Right, Todd? Um, what you want to do is you want to niche down into a specific industries that you um, service. Right. So I noticed in your website, you talk about um, doing real estate firms and um, you've been in the pet industry. So we want to make sure that we tailor your website and start focusing on specific niches, because that's where um, not a lot of companies are optimized for and where you can really come in and, and become a key player in those industries. Right. So um, I, we can rank you for the phrase like consulting management firm, but some big, broad term like that. Or um, we can uh, start claiming like the lower hanging fruit where there's uh, less competition for like specific niches within um, uh, consulting and, and business management firms. Right. So whereas it might take you years for you to start ranking organically for uh, larger, broad terms, we can start ranking you a lot quicker for the lower hanging fruit and the niched down specific ones uh, within months because you just have less competition. Right. And so what we do, our kind of methodology here at Mr. and Mrs. Leeds is we we kind of work backwards right so we do we do our keyword research and figure out exactly the kinds of keywords that have decent amount of volume so people are actually searching that phrase in the google and then we also want to make sure that those keywords don't have a lot of competition in there so do you see right here in this column it says kd this is actually a metric that arefs came up with uh and it's on a scale of zero to 100 100 being very hard to rank for so 100 would be something like facebook Right. So imagine trying to rank for the phrase Facebook because Facebook.com has that on lock. It'd be very, very, very difficult for us to rank your website on the, on the phrase Facebook. But for lower keyword difficulty like this one, like Premier Real Estate Management, this thing has a zero KD, which means there's virtually no competition and there's still a decent amount of searches. I mean, 700 searches per month. Imagine if you even captured half of that going to your website and how many of those you can actually convert into sales and kind of through the process. Right. And so that's what we would do. We would come up with a keyword set, um, make sure that it's tailored to what you 
are looking to do, make sure that this, these are the keywords you want to uh, rank for, and then kind of start moving through the process, building out your website, and uh, start ranking you for those kinds of phrases. So um, very excited about what we could do for you here. We have worked with a lot of real estate um, agents and marketing for them. We've, uh, so we're, we're very familiar with the real estate niche. Um, maybe not so much in the pet industry, but definitely it's something that we can look into absolutely as well. So again, appreciate it, Todd, if you watch this video all the way through. I hope you got some insight at the very least. Uh, we would love to, to talk further about what you're looking to do. Um, it's just a matter of getting the ball rolling, right? So I just ask you a couple questions like what you're looking to do with your business, your website, um, what your goals are a year or two from now, as well as um, what your time frame and your budget. And then we can all factor that in, come up with a plan of attack and get going with this. So again, appreciate it, Todd. And uh, hope you have a great rest of your day and week and look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you.